Hey there, we are checking in with Florian Coulombel, our principal <laughs> systems engineer. He is live from KubeCon Paris. Hey, how are you doing? Bonjour, Jen. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Are you missing me? I do miss you a lot. Yes, yes, it feels empty without you. Well, we wish we were there, and I know that there's a lot of activity happening this week. Um, so how is the energy at KubeCon in Paris? Uh, pretty amazing, honestly. Uh, you know, if you compare with uh, Amsterdam last year, where you were, um, kind of the same momentum, a lot of people, lots of conversation, and uh, the local floor is uh, very crowded, and tons of companies to discuss with, so really fun to be there. Great, great, great. Uh, did you go to any parties? I did. I <laughs> did. Last night I was uh, with a bunch of friends at uh, Wiz Party. So mm -hmm. Wiz is uh, uh, kind of a solution to audit your Kubernetes clusters around uh, best practices. You have uh, security policies in place, uh, container having too many privileges and stuff like that. So it was a fun party, free drinks. I was good to go. Very nice. Good. I'm glad to see you're having a good time. So you are in the Red Hat booth um talking to customers so what is your topic what are you talking to customers about at that so my, that? yeah most of the discussion at trade that booth lies around the uh, open shift as you might guess keep going yeah. at that it calls open shift uh and so my main focus is to uh to like discuss about the solution we provide with Dell and Red Hat together the opex cloud platform for open shift and now we can enable customers to very quickly deploy stacks and uh, take advantage of it. Either for, uh, you know, regular uh, container orchestration, virtual machine orchestration with uh, Kubevirt, which is virtualization, and even AI. And actually, uh, part of my demos are uh, with AI uh, workloads running on top of the OPEX platform for OpenShift. Great. Yeah. So you're touching all of the different angles from Kubevirt to AI workloads, to general Kubernetes, um, all of those things really play nice into our Apex Cloud platform, especially with AI, and we're able to um, you know, use different types of storage as well. So I think it's really important that as we roll out more of these types of solutions that you know people like yourself are out there actively talking about them. Um, so that's great. And now, KubeCon being what it is, all about Kubernetes, I know that there's a lot of AI. We've already mentioned it probably 10 times since we started talking two minutes yeah. ago. Other than AI, what's the hot topic? I would say AI is the hot topic. <laughs> you cannot go anywhere without <laughs> hearing about it. And uh, I think one of the big move or uh, yeah, the trend is to make Kubernetes kind of a de facto standard to run AI workloads. It makes sense. So, you know, all these 10 years of uh, innovation and uh, features that came within the, the Kubernetes batteries, uh, we can leverage for uh, AI workloads. And so, yeah, the idea, lots of conversation are around hey, how we make uh, Kubernetes such a thin layer, such an abstraction, so data scientists, PhD, who are in this world know as much about infrastructure and whatnot, and can just execute their workloads. So interesting stuff on yeah how to create more section and making things more easily to, to consume and uh, and play with this uh, with this uh, yeah it's definitely a game changer it's it's going to be interesting over the next few weeks we have Red Hat Summit and Ansible Fest coming up here in North America in May and then following that conference we have DTW Dell Technologies World so I am sure that we have a lot more to talk about over the next coming weeks. Uh, more about Apex Navigator and other solutions. So stay tuned, and it's great to see you. Thank you, Florian. Bye-bye, Jens.